Well, thank you for coming. I'm actually sitting in for Matt Deluisio, um, and Matt is uh, an incredible human being, um, great speaker, and he's uh, serving as uh, the stage manager for the Winter Soldier um, series. So that's where, Speak up. Oh, uh, sure. So that's where Matt is today. So um, we've each been given about 10 minutes. Is that better? Can you hear? Okay. And uh, I will speak to uh, one aspect of organizing, and that is uh, organizing against torture. And I wanted to start uh, with a poem by Mary Oliver. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with Oliver's work. She's uh, an incredible poet, but writes mostly about nature. This is really the first time that I uh, read of her writings about political things. And this poem is entitled, Of the Empire. We will be known as a culture that feared death and adored power, that tried to vanquish insecurity for the few and cared little for the penury of the many. We will be known as a culture that taught and rewarded the amassing of things, that spoke little, if at all, for the quality of life for people, other people, for dogs, for rivers. All of the world in our eyes, they will say, was a commodity. And they will say this structure was held together politically, which it was. And they will say also that our politics was no more than an apparatus to accommodate the feelings of the heart, that the heart in those days was small, hard, and full of meanness. And that's what I think of when I think of our work in uh, Guantanamo, hearts that are small, hard, and full of meanness. So in December of 2005, uh, we came together, uh, we being mostly folks of the Catholic worker community just a few blocks down on East Third Street, and decided that we would speak to the matter of torture directly by walking 70 miles from Santiago de Cuba to Guantanamo by taking up our president's invitation to visit those who are in Guantanamo and to see that it wasn't as bad as everyone was saying that it was. And so we took him seriously at his word and decided to go down. And uh, I'll speak uh, to that, but I want to speak more broadly to uh, Witness Against Torture. That's the name of our community. Again and again, we have brought Guantanamo out of the shadows and to the corridors of power at the White House, the Supreme Court, the Capitol, the Justice Department in Washington, and to the US mission to the United States, to the Times Square recruiting station. We've also tried to reach the American people with the simple street theater that we have developed and performed in Times Square and Washington Square Park. Marching as Guantanamo detainees, hooded, bound, wearing orange jumpsuits, is a tremendously powerful but sobering experience, both for those whose sight is obscured and for those whose steps are tentative, for those who are reminded that they're far from their comfort zone, that there are men suffering at the hands of our government. And you know, recently uh, we were just notified that an Algerian prisoner had died in Guantanamo, Abdul Razak from colon cancer. It's the fifth death, um, presumably four others uh, committed suicide, although we wonder about that as well. Uh, there are men who are still on hunger strike in Guantanamo. Some have been on hunger strike for more than 250 days. When we returned from uh, Guantanamo, we um, uh, did the walk, we, we slept in the backyards of Cuban folk at night, um, walked 10, 15 miles a day, made it to Guantanamo, and were refused entry by the Americans. Um, we called a number of times to the White House, um, but obviously could not get through, and so we set up a vigil outside um, the base itself and held a 24-hour vigil and hunger fast um, for four days. One thing that we did hear is that the prisoners knew that we were there through the lawyers, they found out. And um, for us, that was a, a very, a moment of gratitude that they knew that not every American thinks um, that they are the worst of the worst or should be locked up in this manner or should be tortured or detained in the way that they are. 